Welcome back again, folks, to another portion of the house that never sleeps. Uh, we're working on this uh, Stumac. The owner told me this was a Stumac kit, D35 kit guitar. I think it's an HD28 Stumac kit, I think. That's what I think it is. Because it's got a, a two-piece back. The D35's got a three-piece, usually. The bridge fell off. The only thing we're going to do to it today is... Uh, Measure everything. Make sure this center seam is a dead center. We'll make sure the dovetail joint is dead center. I mean, he did put all this together, so you know there could be some mistakes. We need to figure out exactly where this bridge goes. Now, like I say, I can see a footprint there, but yeah, I'm not going to go by that. I'm going to do the measurements. I'm going to run a string up through here, and uh, first thing first make sure the dovetail center you remember that j45 guitar the dovetail was not center in that guitar i'm just going to make sure it is on this also going to make sure this footprint is uh, exactly where it's supposed to be so we can get the bridge exactly where it's supposed to be that seam should go right between the third and fourth string uh, pin holes there so let me bring you over here closer and uh, it'll probably make more sense to you I've just got the old thread out in red because I can see it good. Uh, got it taped to the guitar back here, okay? Because we don't have no end pin strap button back here to hook it to. So I taped it dead center of this center seam. And there's a the phone call. Hold on. i got to take this call. Sorry about that, folks. It's been a fucked up day here from the word go. So anyways, all I'm doing here, if you can see, I got the string taped to the top here, lapped over the back. Come dead center up that center line. We'll make sure, yes, it is. Dead center up the center line. Uh, up the center line right here. And there's the fucking phone again. And now, okay, the string. I don't know if you can see the string or not, but it is. It is dead center of the seam here and the, the dovetail joint. Okay, so that's all good. Now we need to figure out we can use we can line this bridge up now with this center seam now that we know it is straight with the dovetail joint. Let me get my tape off here. That phone will probably ring a million times because there's, there's all kinds of shit going on. That's why they call it the house that never sleeps. There you go, a little shot in a shirt. Still got shirts, by the way, if any of you all want one. Say the word and we will get you a shirt. Put a link in the comments down there. And uh, I just want to look and see. i got to have my glasses out here. What I'm going to do is measure uh, over to this footprint that I see in the, in the top where the bridge sits. Let's see if it's anywhere near close or not. Let's see if I... Let me get right here. Yeah. Now, this is the one I want. So I put that right on the edge, backside edge of the bridge here, okay? Comes out here. Uh, it looks like uh, four, four and three eighths. Okay? Four and one, two eighths, three eighths. Four and three eighths to the binding, the very outer part. So let's just come over here and do this very same thing. It's hard to see that footprint here. And if it is, it's not center. I can see this side pretty well. And I can see the front across here. So uh, let's measure from here. It's like three, about three and one, two, three and three eighths from the center of the sound hall, from the sound hall. One eighth, two eighth, three eighths. I really can't see that. I may have to mark that to be able to see it. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Just lay the bridge on there as close as I can see it and lightly mark it with a pencil because that can be removed really easy. If I line that up down here, and yes, the center seam is coming through the uh, between holes three and four you know we got to get it right this way too because if i go you know up that way too far or back that way too far it's going to throw the intonation out i can't put the neck on it 
back you off just a little bit. I can't put the neck on it and use the string scale, you know, measure from uh, the nut. There's no nut in it, but measure from the nut up here down to the 12th fret, and then from the 12th fret back to where the saddle was going to set. I can't do that because this neck joint is so sloppy, man. Check that out. Wow. That is really amazing. How sloppy that is. Stumax uh, specs say precision, precision machine cut joint. Huh. I don't know, man. You can look at it. It does not look like anyone has tampered with that. That looks like it's, uh, you know, factory. It's never been tampered with. It kind of makes me wonder if this is the right neck for this body. Because that joint does not fit at all. I mean, look, it, it's crazy, crazy loose. Check that out. Anyways, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, try to see that as well as I can and mark it lightly with a pencil. And maybe I'll tape it down so I, can, I might be able to hold it like that long enough to draw it. Hold on, let me gather my thoughts. Very small collection. It won't take long. Hold on. Well, here's an interesting take for you. This wing on this bridge is longer than this wing. If you measure from this uh, high point right here and this high point right here, the wing itself. If I measure this one, it measures one inch and one, two, three eighths. This one measures one inch and one two eighths. Okay? Now, according to this center seam line on our string here, which is dead straight, line it up with the seam. There we go. That string is with the seam, and it's dead center of the third and fourth strings. However, we're not dead center when you measure from the wings. That's four inches and one eighth from the front part, front corner, parallel to the bridge, four inches one eighth. We measure parallel to the bridge from this top front corner. And it's four inches, eighth an inch, eighth of an inch off, just like what we figured there. Exactly what we figured there. Okay, the back one, the back corner, measure from it and backwards here. Okay, and not parallel. There we go. Well, shit. Hold on. No shit together here. It's been quite a day here today. Nothing new here, huh? Let's see if we come off here parallel to the ridge, the rear corner now. Uh, four and a half inches exactly to the outer binding right here. Four and one half inches. So if I come parallel off of this corner, it's four, it's lacking an eighth of an inch being, being uh, the same distance as it is over here. The string holes three and four, as I said, are dead center of the seam and the string. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that and drill it there. The pinholes I'm talking about. But we are straight with the line, and that's the main thing. Uh, we get the thing center and get it right this way. You know, this way and this way. Having trouble getting it this way because of the, the uh, wings being different lengths. And uh, this way, I'll just set it into the, uh, the print that I could see there. And we'll go ahead and kind of sketch that out a little bit and mark these holes. I want to put a little more tape on it first. We do not want that thing to move right now. So we'll put a little tape here. And a uh, piece of tape right here. This tape's not very sticky. I mean, it's not going to hurt the wood or the finish or anything like that. And I'm just going to uh, roughly, or lightly rather, draw around it like what I can see of it anyway. Just so I'll know. I'm absolutely sure that the... Uh, As far as the strings go, the thing is dead center. I do know that. We'll mark out these bridge pin holes. And get ready to drill that puppy. 
Reamy mouth. I probably should just do that, drill those out with the bridge on there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a few more measurements. And, uh, Drill it right through the bridge with the bridge taped on it like that. The way I can be sure it didn't move on me. I don't want that puppy moving after all this. Alright, I'm going to have to charge the drill. I know I'm going to have to. It's never charged when you need it. So, hold on. Someone has marked the center of that bridge between. Uh, pegs three and four it doesn't look centered to me but I'm going by that okay see here I got this taped on don't let this little shadow throw you off that's a shadow from the light uh shit try to block it with my arm I really wish that shadow wasn't doing that because that's going to make it look funny there that's better I think and I still see the shadow from the string a little bit believe me the string is practically in the seam lined up with it okay so we come up here we go between strings three and four that's all good we come up through here we go uh, up the center seam right there it's perfect other than that shadow but check this out look how far that, that string is off from the back brace in there now I can move the camera a little bit and make it center like there But you can see I get more, more off center as I come back holding the camera that way. I'm lining the camera up as straight as I can get it this way. And we start coming straight up like this. And when we get to, you can see that back uh, thing I'm talking about on the very back strip. Uh, it looks more center now than it did. Anyways, it's in the seam there. I got to glue that crack in that seam there. And we're all good to go. Ready to drill bridge pinholes. That's as close as I'm going to get it, guys, with these wings being different widths. I think this one was longer than this one, a little bit. So that made the readings from these two corners out, compared to the readings from these two corners out, kind of funky. Uh, it's the same distance from here to the very end of the guitar, that corner. Well, actually, I measured from this front corner back to the end of the guitar, I forget what the numbers were, and it was the same from here back to this corner. So that's all good, the intonation should be fine. The bridge is, may look a little bit offset because of these wings being different size. See this, uh, this uh, high edge here? Okay, I measured from that to the end of the wing. And same thing on this side, I'm thinking you can see the high edge with the way the light's hitting it here, turning around, talking about that edge right there out to the corner of the wing and this one's longer the wings longer so I don't know I just uh, you know I still don't like the looks of coming up this thing when you get up to the sound hole you can see that is not center there with that back strip it is centered with the center uh, seam there and it's centered with the dovetail joint too but it's not centered you get straight with it again. There, you can see it. The back seam in the center of the back. It's, the string is not centered with that. I wish you could see the seam here. If I get on this side, you can actually, let me turn the thing toward the light. That should get rid of the shadow. Yeah. Now, that's the seam you're seeing. That's not a shadow. All right, so if I come up here, get straight over you can see that is lined up perfect with that center seam in the top I'm coming right on there see what I'm talking about how that's off I can come over here and make it on with that rear uh, center seam and then when we come back this way it looks like it's off from the seam of the guitar if you can see that yeah there I think you can see it just weirdness. There's, the bridge is funky. It's not cut evenly, the wings on each side. Anyway, it's going to charge the battery. Hold on. <laughs> Here's one more shot, okay? Now you're going to see a little bit of a shadow here from the string because of the angle of the light's coming down from this way. The string is dead center of the center seam. All right, we come up through here. There, I can see that shadow. We are center of the third, fourth strings. 
here's where it gets interesting. We are center of the uh, dovetail, or the neck block rather. See, let me get back here where you can see it. Center of the neck block. Okay, center of the neck block, not center of that rear strip on the back. So I don't know, man. I don't know how square and flat and level this entire body is. But uh, by putting the bridge on first and then aligning the neck with the center of the bridge and the center of the top, you know, the playability should be okay, even though something really funky is going on with that uh, down in there. Check that out. Very much weird. Let me show you one more time closer. There's the neck block. Let me get lined up with it. You can see that rear uh, seam on the back of the guitar is not center with the, the neck block. Let me back you off here a little bit. You can tell it just looking at, looking at it. See that strip coming up? Forget the string now. Just don't even think about the string. Forget it. And look how that strip is offset to the left of that neck block. It's not center of the block. So we may run into all kind of issues here. I don't know. Waiting on the battery charge for the drill. Then we'll draw this puppy out. I want to measure it one more time while I wait. I'll bring you back for that and we'll do it. Alright, finally got the battery charged up. I uh, got a couple grandsons came in, so you're going to hear all kind of noise in the background that the AC's running. So let's uh, pop a cap in this thing's ass. We'll drill six holes into it. I got an 1164 bit that's uh, smaller than I need. We just want to get through here for the time being. One down. Two down. Got the guitar clamped to the bench as you may have or may not have noticed. That's a little extra support. This will mark our spot. Someone's probably going to say, well, you should have put a, something board on the other end so it doesn't punch through. But I'm not pressing down on that drill hardly at all. Just letting the weight of the drill, or not even that much uh, downward pressure. holes are way too little. And that's okay. Fit them up later on when we start to install pins. we we'll worry about the size of the holes then. Uh, actually what I'll do rather than drill them out is ream them out with this or something like this. But for right now I'm not going to worry about any of that. Let's just take the tape off here. This bridge may even look offset at the at a glance, you know, just with the naked eye. And the reason being, because like I said, the wings are different, man. You, I can actually see that now. This wing up here is longer than this wing down here is. Now I know for a fact. We've got our center point here. The bridge between pins 3 and 4 are centered with this guitar top seam. Know that without a question, and that's all that really counts. Uh, they have got to be, you know, that's got to be right for it to intonate right and everything else to work right. 
that has got to be right. And it is right. I'm 100% sure of it. I can see the center line. Someone drawed onto the bridge. And we are right up there perfectly with the, uh, I don't have it's very tight, just, like I said, to snug the guitar a little bit. We want it moving under the drill pressure. And we have bridge pin holes. Now we know where the bridge goes. It, yeah, I can't see that. I don't know if you guys can or not, but try to get it in line with the camera. From here to here is a little bit less space than from here to here because that wing is longer. And the bridge moved a little bit. There we go. Uh, as far as the center line I can see on the bridge and this uh, center line in the top, center line up here, center line up here, center of the dovetail, it's all perfectly straight according to measurements. <laughs> when that thing moves really easy. So, uh, okay. Looking good. Well, y'all seen me do this enough times. I just want to get glued down into that seam. That's the only thing. Uh, we're not clamping it or anything. Like I say, I tried to squeeze the guitar this way, like so. And uh, that's not moving. But it's too big of an opening to just leave, you know, no glue in there like that. So it's going to run a healthy bead up to about right there. And uh, take our old faithful suction cup. There we go. And make that glue go down into that seam better than that. Shove it down in with the suction cup and then lift it back up by this little thing so it doesn't suck the glue back out of the what you pumped in there, suck it back out. helps to force the glue down into the crack even more so. As you can see, I hope that camera's running. I can't see it too good. I think it is. Yeah, we got good glue in there. I'll put a mirror inside too and we'll have a look. See if any came through the inside or not. Alright, got a mirror down in there, you see. And if you look way back there, you can see we got a lot of glue squeezed through that crack. Which is very good. Check that out. Good squeeze through. <laughs> if I go squeeze out or not, I want to get in there and wipe that away. But that's excellent, man. And there's what the top looks like. Here's the seam that we filled with glue. That was a very open. Uh, I don't know why you didn't glue that together right there. You uh, know, like I was saying, you can squeeze the sides of the guitar. Try to squeeze that together, and it would not go closed. Didn't move at all. So it's solid. It's probably where the top has just dried out a little bit. Allowed it to shrink just enough to open up that top seam. Well, it's closed now. There's the uh, bridge plate. Clean some of that excess wood off of that where I drilled the holes. I can keep my light burning. Holes look nice and even. And uh, I'm going to wipe that squeeze out out before it gets any worse. Hold on. Okay, found a couple other issues here we're going to address right now. Uh, give you some perspective here. Going down into the hole. I have a mirror in there. And uh, I told you about this uh, center seam right here. It needs glued. It's not glued. I didn't see this crack right here before. If you look into that mirror, you see where I'm shining the light. Look into that mirror, you can see a crack. 
all the way down through here. That's not the center seam. The other one's a center seam. Where are we at? There it is. That's the center seam right there. It seems to be pretty tight from that little area right there up. But this crack, I don't know how that could have happened. You can see it's it's wide open. And right here it is, the top of it. It runs, uh, we can see the center seam there. The crack is right there, if you can see that. It runs right up through there. And maybe you can see it better there. Right there. Yeah, it's, it's opened up pretty good. So we're going to get some glue in that. My guitar is very, very dry. So I'm going to take a, I got a really wet, super wet cloth here. And uh, some kind of plastic tray. I'm just going to lay that cloth in there. Set the uh, thing back, way back in the lower bout back here. I have a uh, plastic lid here that came with my, oh, what the hell they call it? damp it humidifiers and I'm going to stick a piece of tape across these holes right here keep that moisture down in there for, for now humidity in this room right now 60% exactly and uh, like I say you can just if you can hear that you can just tell the guitar is really dry very dry not so much the back and sides as the top and that's why the seam, the center seam here opened up. It's why these uh, seam cracks here happen. I'm going to humidify that back up to 45 55% and give it a day or two. And I'll be doing other things to it. I guess the next thing probably will be scuff this thing up real good in that. And uh, put her on there, man. Got a bunch of bridge pins here. I, someone, one of you guys sent me these. I'm thinking maybe it was Steve Harris uh, or... Tall thin kev maybe I can't remember man, but thank you whoever it was. Yeah, next video maybe we'll glue the bridge on it. I might go ahead and glue shims either in here or on that tenon on that joint. I haven't decided yet, but uh, anyways we're kind of off to a start now. At, at least I just cannot believe this precision machine cut. Wow, that's what Stu Max site says this is. It makes me wonder if it's the same neck or not. Anyways, it's underway. This baby's going to live again. It's going to live, uh, not again, but the first time. Dang, there you are down there again, man. What's up with it? What up, baby? Cheers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video real soon. Cheers to you. Get a shirt. 24 in the lower 48 states. 27 everywhere else in the world. They go out every Monday if you'd like to have one of these. Links below. Click the PayPal link. Yours will be put in the mail on Monday. Cheers. Thank you guys, everyone, for everything. Bottoms up.